creating a disclaimer page for your WordPress website is the best way to let visitors know what your site is about and whether or not they can trust it. It also helps protect your site from getting banned by search engines. It is a good idea to include a disclaimer when someone uses your site. This will protect you from having to deal with copyright infringement issues. Visitors to your website are usually concerned about the legal implications of using your website. You can add a disclaimer on your website to make this information easily available to your users. This is a must have for any business website. In the age of the internet, people are starting to read disclaimers more frequently than ever. You don't want to scare off anyone who might be interested in your services and you want them to know that they can rely on you to provide accurate information. In order to minimize your legal liability, it's important to add disclaimers to your website. Disclaimers can help you protect from lawsuits that may arise as a result of incorrect information as well as reduce your liability in other scenarios. While not all websites may need a disclaimer, some definitely should. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Valia from Team Loan Today. And in this SOP, I am going to help you create a disclaimer and then add it to your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so in order to get your disclaimer page, first of all, what you need to do is just look for a disclaimer generator. And I would suggest to go with the first one that comes in, disclaimergenerator.net. So let's click on that. All right, so you will be redirected to this particular disclaimer generator page wherein they tell you what a disclaimer is. So they're gonna ask you a few questions, very simple questions, the answers you would already know to these questions. So just fill in the fields right here and you will be good to go. So your company name, if you don't have a company name, you can write your um, website name over here. Your website name and then your website URL. Hit on next the country, the state wherein your company is registered or where you're operating from and your email address. And there you go, just generate my disclaimer. Awesome. So what you need to do now is copy this particular text to clipboard. So download your disclaimer, copy this text to clipboard. Now we move to our dashboard right here. Awesome. In the left sidebar, you will find pages. So go to add new page. Great. Give it a title. And this right here is very important. You will be coming to um, a page wherein your content would be in visual right here. What you have to do is go to text and then paste the disclaimer that you have. Awesome, that is done. You can save the draft, preview it, and publish. Now this disclaimer can be on your primary menu, it can be on the sidebar, or you can put it in the footer menu. I prefer to put my disclaimer, terms and condition, privacy policy in the footer menu. So it's up to you where you want to put it. And yeah, I think that's done. We have successfully made a disclaimer page for our website. We can just go ahead and preview the changes. And there you go. That's done. Awesome. Hope this video helped you guys create and install a disclaimer page on your WordPress website. If you have any doubts, any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And of course, if you want to see any other digital marketing related videos on the Lawn Today channel, feel free to put them in the comment section. Go ahead and hit on that like button and subscribe button along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is Jaswin Valia and I will see you in our next SOP.